Sir, let me get a few words with you. We're live right now. This is Jesse T. I'm Jesse T. Hello. The Jesse T. Show. And uh, I have a TV and radio program here every day of the week in Los Angeles. And uh, it's good to have you coming down and, uh, and joining us. It's great to be here. Man, I have followed your career my whole life. <laughs> so have I, actually. Uh, absolutely. We what? Both of them come. Absolutely. Yeah, we do. Except I think uh, you have more career than I have life. <laughs> That's for sure. How was it doing this great movie? Well, I mean, uh, I worked on it for a long time. It was slow to develop. A, it's a documentary, a docudrama, if you will. Right. right. Uh, I think the version you're seeing tonight is missing about 70 minutes. But the, this film was. This film was. Um, created about the cultural legacy of um, Uli Bej, who was the world's pre-Renaissance true genius astronomer who gave the world not only the first GPS, as we know it today, but also the global navigation as the Renaissance knew it. Yeah. So Columbus, Magellan, Vespucci, all the... Uh, yeah, he was ahead the of them. Dominant, the dominant yeah. explorers owe their legacy to Uli Bej because he gave them how to navigate. Yeah, he was so uh, far ahead of his time. Mathematical genius. <laughs> and out of that part of the world, great geniuses came that, that pushed science and medicine on in yeah. that part of the world. A lot of people don't know that historically. Yeah. I mean, you, I, I've been to Uzbekistan probably seven or eight times. And what you can see when you, when you start to visit cities like Samarkand and uh, Bukhara and Lucas, you really begin to see that there was a whole civilization that predated many Renaissance civilizations that was places of phenomenal learning. These were centers of great learning and preservation. Most of it was preserved from, from Uzbekistan to Istanbul, which is the next great center of learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, a, it's a voyage. And, it's and a we've place. lost so much of that history and that science and mathematics to the... To the inconsistencies of human nature yes. we've lost so much of it boy I wish we had some of those great libraries they had how far would we as humankind I'm saying that uh, you know one of the political incidents that took place in Uli Bez's life and death was that his son was manipulated by Islamic fundamentalists and his son murdered his own father. So Uli yeah. Beja died at the hands of political oppression. Yeah. And the tragedy of that is with that, his libraries were burned. However, his yeah. principal, yeah. one student, saved all his work. Thank goodness. And transported it to Istanbul. Isn't that amazing? Just amazing. It's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing story. Lecture. And this movie documents a lot of that history. And, and the part you play is, is a key part in this movie. Yeah, he, he is a very... Uh, I mean, I, I, I can only tell you that when I was making the film, one of the funniest things, I kept saying to Baha, my, whom I know very intimately, I said, you know, you keep filming me in this film, but, but when the scientists, the theologians, the professors, and all the data people with the intel, when they get to speak, I get cut out of the film. <laughs> so there's, there's about five scenes left in the movie. Oh, man. Don't you just hate that when that happens as an actor? I was happy to see his stuff get up. Yeah, there. yeah. Absolutely. So, but it, it's it's as an actor, you go, oh, that was the best scene I had, man. That was really great. Yeah. You know, especially when when you get a movie like this where you can bite into something and, and get some history behind it, and and you get to dress up like Olivier said, you get to dress up and it changes your whole demeanor. It's a, it's a great privilege. Absolutely. Armin Asante, Thank everybody, you. just Thank a so terrific much. actor, followed his career Thank for you. years on the Jesse T Show. We have a regular talk show every day of the week. Uh, from 5 to 6 here in Los Angeles for TV and radio. I'd love for you to come on down if you can pass it to your, your people. Thank you. And, uh, so we can talk some more about your career and Thank exciting you. things you're doing. It's a lot of I'm fun. I'm not going to lay much, but here's my information. So you have it. Absolutely. Because uh, it's, a, it, it's, it's a terrific show. we got a good-sized audience. And, I, and it's a millennial audience, too. I'd like to introduce them to you as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much. My pleasure. God bless you. Armin Asante, everybody. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to go find Buzz Aldrin for a second and see if I can go, go in here and see if I can find Buzz. Absolutely. Look at that. All right, see if I can find those all of them. Talk to the handlers. 
because I miss them. I see everybody that's showing up here. It's going to be a crowded house in here for this terrific movie. It's going to be just fantastic. We're looking forward to we're looking forward to seeing it here. And okay, so we're back with you here. Okay, so, uh, whoop, be careful. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask this lady here, because she's handling the buzz right now. You're handling buzz, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, I missed him on the carpet. We're live. Is there any way that I can get a word so or two with him sorry. after the show? Uh, maybe after, but not right now. No, afterwards. Okay, great. Thank you. This is my business card. We have a TV show every day of the week here in okay, Los Angeles. So uh, if you can. Okay. okay, great, thanks. Absolutely. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do there and see, see what we can make happen. If we get him, we get him. If we don't, we don't. He got past me. I was talking to Armin Asante. And, uh, Can I thank you? All right, man. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. I got to talk to him once. So uh, I talked to him already. But I need to. And, still. I, and I went inside and talked to Bud. It's kind of I right, missed him. Yeah, yeah. Good, for you, Good for you, brother. Absolutely, brother. So we're kind of working the red carpet a little bit here. And uh, see what we can find out. Okay. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Go on, go on, go on. Absolutely. Sometimes these things can be so frustrating and organized and they can be a free-for-all. You just never know what you're going to walk into. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to try to catch up with Buzz after the show here, and uh, that's what we're going to attempt to do. We missed him on the red carpet. Uh, we were talking to Armin Asante, which was cool. Uh, I always want, wanted to talk with Armin. What a great actor he is. Absolutely. So we're going to kind of scoop behind here and, uh, and, and make it right here as uh, taking care of a little bit of the fun mayhem here. I'm going to kind of work around here and, uh, and see what we can do here uh, as well. Who we got coming up? Try to take a picture of Armin. So that's what we're going to do. All right. I came here for specifically two people. I'm going to find them. And, uh, and Buzz Aldrin, so we got on him. Now I just gotta tackle Buzz and see if we can get a little bit of Buzz here in here uh, at, after the show. We're gonna, do, uh, we're gonna do something there with him. And uh, if not, we'll try to get uh, him later on to Edward Losey, who's handling him now here in Los Angeles. And uh, so, you know, Ed's a great PR guy here. You can't get everybody, and sometimes you do miss people every now and then. It's just the nature of this game, especially when you collapse and push for time. Uh, but you eventually catch up with everybody. Eventually, you catch up with everybody if you're around long enough, when you're around town long enough. You catch up with, with everybody who you need to talk to. That's sort of just how red carpets are. Um, but it was great to talk with Armin and Santa. And Tim McGrath, a picture with him right now. And Francisco, and, uh, and see, see what we can do. Okay. Wow, we do have a sergeant of arms on the red carpet today. 
Yeah, I know. They're going to go get Buzz right now. And with that, I'm going to see if I can grab five seconds with him. Buzz Aldrin, nice to meet you, sir. I know, I know. That's why I missed him, because I knew you had to get him, and I, I kept him on there. I tried to cut him off, but it, it wouldn't happen. I, how are you going to cut off Armando right, Santos? Right, right. You know. And he, so I went in there and contacted her. So, try to say, but she's difficult. So you're getting the you're getting the workings of the red carpet, man. <laughs> right, right, Between two right. vets here, you're getting the workings of it, man. It's a, <laughs> That's what it's all about. Um, Jockeying for position. They should, they should bring them on to I know. I don't know if I get them first, I just want two questions. Who? With Buzz. Because oh, you, you got them. Yeah. No, they, she already said that she, he, he isn't going to do any more questions. Well, he might do one for me. I got an angle. Oh, okay. Got an no, angle. she said that he's tired. I still got an angle. You got an angle. That's got an angle. Thing. We love angles. Yep. Yeah, he's got to be 90 years old. 88. Good for a guess. Okay, here's my angle. All right, we're going to see what we can do. I'll see if I can jockey for a position. See if I can jockey him in here. Okay, one more right here. 